what is going on guys and welcome to a brand new video and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can run your own unturned server from your computer for free i know there's a lot of um videos out there about this um program thing but um i'm gonna do it my way i'm gonna show you like everything that you need to do to run your unturned server successfully so yeah guys make sure you guys watch to the end and i'm gonna put everything like everything you need in the descriptions you guys could go ahead and just click on that so yeah let's get started so first of all you don't need to download this thing the unturned server organizer that's what you need i mean that's basically the server where you're gonna run your server from so what you do is i mean i already have it so it's gonna tell me that i already have it but um i'll leave it there so you're gonna go in the description to this page right here you're gonna click download right here and again download right here and it should be like it should say you're downloading it you should save it it should there it goes downloaded already run it but um of course something will pop up just click yes and it should say this and now when i try it see it's telling me that i already have this so you can have to just run it yourself it's pretty easy you guys will do it pretty easy so you're gonna come up with this right here and if we double click on this it should something else should say like if you wanna allow this thing to change to make change on device you click yes and it will run it it will connect to your steam and everything so yeah see it's right there it's updating so let's let it update i don't know if it's gonna take a long time or not but um i'll see you back when it's all uh, done okay guys so this should pop up after it's done connecting to steam and updating so this should pop up as you can see i have my main server and another server so let's actually delete this one we don't need that one but i'll show you it should be already a default server right there so you could uh change that one or delete it and make a new one but you can delete it so you basically have to make a new one and then delete the other one so right here you could create a server named your server of course this this name is not gonna be the p public name it's just gonna be so you so you know what server it is right so basically you could have i don't know how many servers but you could have more than one server uh right here listed so do create i did not name it but you could name it right here i don't know I just put test i guess put test and then this right here should be the public name like People are gonna see your server by this name, so you could put I don't know P PVP server something like that. I don't know, and you could change the map right here. It's it's pretty easy. Washington or uh, you could pick any of those maps right there. Russia PVP or PVE. It's your decision. You could put your um um Steam ID. So it could uh, know your that you're the owner, or you could just leave it blank. It doesn't really matter. You could put a welcome message right here, so you could play hello, or I don't even know what you wanna put. 
or you could really put whatever you want right here and all this you could leave it don't really mess around with that you could allow cheats but only admins can um only admins are able to use cheats or you could do it just a gold member server you could do if you click on this the admins won't show so that's on you i don't know and this um, i really don't know what that is this but this you could add stuff when someone joins your server they spawn with those stuff so you could add um i don't know uh apple juice they could spawn with that um um bow they and then do save and that should be it and then save it again and it should be right here and if you start your server i'll show you right now we're gonna start that server it's gonna load up really quick let's just let it load up but you you can see right here if this if your name if the name on your server it's not blue like right here you could see it's not blue that means your server is not online you don't have ports on your router so you can have to open up ports so you can run your server so people can join it so it's not blue and i'll show you that how, how to do it in a bit i'll show you real quick okay so it's done you can see it's 100 percent and this the name of the server test basically it's not blue it has to be blue in order for it to be on the public list show so we're gonna shut this down you could shut it down from here you could just run shut down or you could do it from right here instant shutdown or shut down which it will do a countdown you could either restart it or shut it down but i already put it over here so just click enter and it will shut it down so now how do you make the name blue it's pretty easy go to setup server or something like that and you will see the other things that you put like the name not not this is not public so this is not the public name so go to right here automatic port forwarding as you can see it says enable so you have to enable that how do you do that it's pretty it's uh it's easy i'll show you guys okay guys so now you have to go to the this thing if you're in windows 10 or if you are in windows 7 just go to the start button and search for cmd cmd search it up and this should pop up and right here you should put ip config and they should all these things should pop up and you should um look for the default gateway which is this number right here write it down because you will need it and write the ipv4 address too write that down somewhere where you uh because you're gonna need it right now so basically if you know that just um close this and open up a browser any browser and type in the gateway that you um got so basically i already have it right here it's it's pretty easy for me so now right here you should look for port forwarding mine it's right here under firewall i have the belkin router i think that's how you say belkin but i have the router and it's right here i don't know if you have another router i don't know like where it could be but you should look after the um you should look in firewall if there's an option for that or in advanced something but you should go to port forward and right here in port forwarding you can have to enter um a new network kind of thing so you can have to enter the name unturned basically that's the name of the game unturned you can need to put some ports you can have to put 27015 on the first one and 27018 on the next and like on the last one like because there's different ports that people join so if you if you want your server 
if you want people to enter your server you have to you can have to put like um you can have to put like twenty seven zero fifteen through twenty seven zero eighteen so that's this that's the inbound port and then right here in type you're gonna put both UDP and TCP both right here you need the I told you uh, right here you need the other address of P the IPv4 address that you write that you wrote down so right here you're just gonna put the last number on your router which mine was okay guys so once you um have done that you should go back to the settings go to this to the auto port forward and it should be it then should say enable so now you're enabled and it's, it says chances and it says changes take effect after you start restarted your server so but click ok you could close it down or start from there but you wanna do this and start your server now and you should see that the name test it's now blue as you can see it's blue that means it's public that means people can join your server that means you can invite your friends to join your server and i'll show you guys right now how you could be admin you could make yourself admin or you could just make yourself the owner and admin of the server how by the thing that i told you I could go right here wait you cannot edit your settings while the server is running so close that down but the server is on people can enjoy the server now we're gonna shut it down again shut down and I'm gonna see if I could join the server okay okay so now Okay, so now my game should be starting soon, I think. There we go. It's going to start soon. Here we go. Let's just start. Let's just let it load. Okay, guys. So my game has loaded. Let's run the server real quick. So we're going to run this server. It should be blue because, yeah. See, it should be blue because it's on the um on the server list. You could join your own server, and as you can see, I have um these are all the commands right here that you can use. And I'll show you guys how to become admin if you did not put your Steam ID in the owner thing. So okay, so the server is running. Click out of that. Click on the game. Click click play click connect and right here you should put localhost and 27015 as a port if you did not put a password don't put anything if you put a password on your server put the password that you put but you could just click connect right here you can see pvp server that's why we named the server and there's zero players and you could hit join and it should join i'm gonna fast forward this So here we go. See, I have joined the server. You could press. Um. See, I even spawned with the bow and the thing that I put. And to become admin yourself, to admin yourself, you cannot have to. As you can see, I'm a gold member. I might think you cannot admin. You cannot admin yourself right here. From you cannot admin because you don't have the permission to execute this command so let's click escape right here don't 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 exit the game just click on this window don't close this window either you don't need this window and right here you should put admin then space your name your steam name and it is successfully admin q10 see that I return to the game and now if you press start go to informational maps and you'll see your name is blue that means you're an admin that means you could use cheats 
if you put cheats but if you did not enable cheats you won't be able to use any cheats or you're not gonna be able to spawn um anything but you could do slash god if you're an admin and you're gonna be admin you can feel the strength now that means you won't die pretty easy but if you don't have cheats enabled you can spawn anything but that's basically all and as you can see you can shut it down from here you can just let shut down and the server will shut down and will kick you out you last connection to the, ser the server has been shut down so yeah that's basically all guys it's pretty simple if you did find this video helpful make sure to drop a like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel and if you if it doesn't work for you and if it's um if it's um still right here if it still says enable then you can enable it try restarting your um router or if not look, or if not your computer and that should hopefully fix it because so that's sometimes what i do i have to restart my computer or my router to enable the automatic port forwarding because sometimes if it disables by itself and i don't know why maybe there's something going on in this thing but i don't know if so yeah guys if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe if you are new and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video later